Kanen Abedi Etri, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, MB Bim Benin Fonyi, and I'm Chiamu Yenawa Eradi Yesu Christo Dimu. I'm going to talk to you about the UAB constituency. I'm going to talk to you about the UAB constituency. Men come on, Edu Bebia, Mepo Toka Kra. Gana for Nipa Doduana, Yanya Benjuma, Yanya Brunia Duma, Yaya Jedi Four, Yaya Equia Four, Yayan San Juma, and Untis are buying B banners or Peso Boagana for Dodua. Now so Boa, a Jedi Four, Equia Four, one of my Yan San Juma. I was so far crying, who do I Senior Omejuma Ebia Nkrata Sem Enkahono Obe Buama Omejuma Afa Abe Fukwante Mponsu That is why the Akufuado administration with the strong support of Dr. Mahmoud Baumwa adopted digitization. The Ghanaian economy as you know is hugely informal and any economist worth his salt knows that there's a need to formalize the Ghanaian economy to formalize it through digitization. When President Akufuado and Dr. Baumia first mentioned digitization, as usual, the naysayers did not believe them. They didn't understand the vision. They mocked and they joked and they called them names. But today, digitization is bearing fruit for many Ghanaians. Digitization, ladies and gentlemen, is not an end in itself. It is a means to an end. Digitization is designed to ensure that people can access government services faster and with more efficiency. It is designed to ensure that people's jobs and businesses can be enhanced. And that is why from 2017, a number of interventions were introduced. First, overhauling the Ghana National Card and National ID system. Second, introducing a robust mobile interoperability system. Third, ensuring that every address in Ghana had a digital ID system. Additionally, drones were introduced to ensure that essential medical supplies could move to various parts of the country. And it was also a delight of His Excellency the Vice President to ensure that several government services can be applied for online. What has been the outcome? Today, there has been a boost in e-commerce and deliveries, creating jobs for thousands of Ghanaians. Today, there has been an increase in access to credit because it is easier for credit agencies and lenders to identify people and to identify where they live. Today, there's higher efficiency in government services because you can sit at home and apply for various government services. You can renew your national health insurance card, you can apply for passports, you can participate in tax and pension services. Today, the Ghana card has reduced the number of ghost names on our payroll and in return, save the Republic millions of Ghana cities. And by linking the Ghana card to the eSIM registration, identity fraud and mobile money fraud has been reduced. Thousands of lives have also been saved because of the drugs, the blood, and the essential services that have been delivered by drone. Nana Adudankwe Kufuadu and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia have laid a firm foundation for digitization. And now, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe will build upon this digitization foundation moving forward. Ghana's economy requires the next level of formalization. And you can be sure I said you can be sure, you can be sure that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe will take us there. We require selfless leadership, bold solutions, and innovative ideas for the future. Digitization is just one of them. And Dr. Baumia and Dr. Prempe will deliver when you give them your vote to move Ghana to the next level. I thank you for your attention.